This is a short video to show how to create a uh, UML class diagram using Visual Studio 2010. So what we do is we open up Visual Studio 2010, go to File, New, Project, and then select that we want to have a, uh, on the left hand side, a modeling project, model project, and then you can name it anything you like. So, Test 1 Modeling project. In the new project that comes up, we want to add a UML diagram. So we right click on the project, add new item, and then select what we want to add. We want to add a class diagram, and I can change the name here, test class diagram. Now it comes up, it's got the blank area in the middle of the screen. On the right hand side you should see the toolbox. That may not come up for you, and it is going to be quite important in this. So what could happen is it could be set to auto hide, in which case it could be found on the side here. The toolbox on the side. It could also be on the other side of the screen. If you click on it, it then kind of rolls out onto the screen. If you go away, it rolls back. The easiest way is to simply pin it to the screen so it no longer auto hides. I'll close a few extra little pieces of the window that I don't need for the demo. Now to actually make it work, to uh, generate a diagram, you can click and drag. So click on what you want to add. Here we want to add a class. And I'll drag it out onto the screen. I can then name it something. And let's call it a pen, the pen class. I can add an attribute, so I click on attributes. I press enter, and it generates me a new attribute. I can change what that attribute is, so it's going to be the color. And let's make it a string. I can then add operations, so I click on operations, hit enter, and it gives me a new one. So let's give it a constructor. Hit enter again, we get another one, and let's get a uh, add a getter method. So get color. And it's going to return a string. I can resize the window, or I can move the window as I see fit. I can stretch it left and right. I want to make sure that it's wide enough that I can see everything in my, in my class without any, anything being cut off. I can then add a second class to the diagram. And you can add associations between them based on whatever you want to show. So I can click on this and then draw connect the dots, for example, to add that operation or add that relationship, or I can change the relationships between it. Of course, the relationship I, uh, I choose is going to be depending on what kind of uh, class structure I'm designing. So that's the basics of how to uh, create the diagram. When you click Save, it'll save the diagram. And of course, the last thing we want to do is we want to export it to a PDF often. So we might go to Print. Here I've got a PDF printer installed. I'm going to use uh, PDF Creator, and so then I'll click OK, and it's going to generate me the PDF. That's all for today's demo. Thank you for watching.